Good afternoon. Welcome to the webinar dedicated to dissolution profiles comparison, new recommendations and methods. During the webinar, I will present solutions developed by Stats of Poland for pharma industry. And I will discuss new methods and recommendations issued by the European Agency with examples. And finally, I will show you the program that can be used for dissolution profile comparison. Statsov for pharma industry. Statsov has over 25 years of experience in advanced and predictive analytics in highly regulated pharma industry. In 2019, Stats of Poland from Krakow and Stats of Europe from Hamburg joined each other to provide the customer with a more comprehensive offer related to advanced analysis and reporting, common potential of teams in Krakow and Hamburg, extensive experience in implementing advanced typical solutions, and predictive modeling and machine learning applications. Our offer. We develop and implement system for collecting, storing, sharing, and analyzing data. We support you in all steps of your analytical projects related to data science. We provide and adapt typical statistica to your needs and set up a business solution for you. And we offer a wide range of training courses on statistical software and data science. When it comes to pharma industry, Stats of Poland developed programs to facilitate statistical data analysis and reporting in various GXP area to include product quality monitoring used to evaluate the technological process during product quality review or ongoing process verification, process validation to evaluate validation batches and their equivalency, Environmental monitoring used for evaluation of physical, chemical, and microbiological data collected for clean rooms and installations. Dissolution profile comparison using various model dependent and model independent methods. Proficiency testing to assess laboratory performance based on interlaboratory study. Measurement uncertainty calculated using theoretical model. Analytical method validation to evaluate validation characteristics as per ICH. And product stability with evaluation of shelf life based on long term or short term studies with identification of atypical trends during ongoing stability program. Some programs have been extended with a dedicated database to collect and store data with identification of atypical trends in real time. In addition to add-ons, Stats have developed and implemented advanced database systems related to product quality, stability studies, and environmental monitoring. The systems allow collecting data from various sources or manually, storing them in a common analytical database, and sharing information by sending notification after identification of adverse events with real-time process visualization and reports generation. In 2020, with the support of the European Union of Funds, Stats of Poland developed a system that integrates all stages of the product life cycle, starting with research and development, through validation of the process, and continued ongoing process verification. The system is dedicated both for research and development departments, which are interested in implementing QBD approach, for quality assurance that wants to monitor the process in real time with detection of adverse trends, as well as for technological departments dealing with improving the effectiveness of manufacturing processes. Dissolution profile comparison. The in vivo liberation of the active ingredient from the drug formulation determines the degree of absorption, bioavailability, and effect of the drug administrated in oral solid form. 
Liberation is a physical process that can be studied under in vitro laboratory conditions. Recommendations concerning the methods and principles of comparing dissolution profiles have been defined in documents issued by the various regulatory agencies. Recently, the European Agency has issued recommendations regarding general approach to statistical methodology for comparative assessment, as well as expectations to bootstrapping methodology. According to European Agency to compare dissolution profiles, similarity conditions need to be pre-specified. They include comparison of mean values across time points with a recommended difference of no more than 10%, and similarity of variation in results across time points with an acceptable lower variation for the test product, and similar shape of the release curve. The figure shows the solution profiles that do not meet similarity conditions at least visually. So how to define the objective criteria for similarity conditions and what methods should be chosen to meet the regulatory expectations? The criterion for similarity of dissolution profiles should take into account the similarity conditions as well as satisfy the principle of statistical validity which leads to the formulation of a statistical hypothesis about the equivalence of dissolution profiles. The null hypothesis states that dissolution profiles are not similar, while the alternative hypothesis says that the profiles are similar. The purpose of the study is thus defined by the alternative hypothesis. During hypothesis verification, it is essential to understand the probability for a false positive decision on similarity of dissolution profiles that are not in compliance with the pre-specified similarity conditions. This is a patient risk, type 1 error. The same applies for the probability of a, for a false negative decision when dissolution profiles are in compliance with the similarity conditions. From the regulatory perspective, the main concern remains the false positive similarity conclusions. Therefore, characterization of this risk is considered most important and the selection of similarity criterion needs to be driven by the reduction of that risk. The method used in dissolution profile comparison can be divided into two main categories. The first group includes model independent methods, such as similarity factor F2, and multivariate statistical distance methods that measure a distance between dissolution results. The second category is model-dependent methods, which are based on fitting a theoretical curve, such as Bywool curve, to the dissolution results and evaluating distance between model parameters. However, those methods have some limitations, especially in cases of high variability in dissolution results. Therefore, we will take a closer look at new three new methods that can be used when standard procedures cannot be used to assess the similarity of dissolution profiles. These are the following method, F to bootstrap, T square EQ, and maximum deviation. We'll start with the standard most commonly used similarity factor method F2. Principle. The similarity factor F2 is the average distance between the mean values of the reference product and the test product. Condition for applicability of the method includes the following. A minimum of three time points. Same time points for the two formulations. At least 12 individual values for every time point for each formulation. 
not more than one mean value above 85 percent dissolved for any according to European regulation, both according to the US regulation and reference according to HW, H, WHO formulation. And a relative deviation less than 20% for time points below the minutes and less than 10% for the rest time points. Proceed. After truncating the time points according to selected rules, the mean dissolution values at time points for the reference product and test product are determined, as well as the mean square of differences between them and finally the value of F2 factor is calculated. It's worth noting that the F2 value is sensitive to the truncation rule. Dissolution profiles can be considered similar if the value of the F2 factor is greater than 50, which corresponds to a difference between the averages of 10% at each time point. Pros and cons. The F2 method is computationally simple, recognized by all agencies, widely used and has clear acceptance criteria. It takes into account evaluation of averages, but not, does not account for variability in time points or differences in shape of the release curve. It also does not meet the statistical validity criteria, such as control of the first type Era. However, the scientific simulation studies showed that F2 metric is an acceptable methodology to detect non-similarities if the dissolution for its applicability are met. Otherwise, the procedure becomes ineffective. In such a cases, the European Agency recommends the F2 bootstrap method. <clears throat> 